guys welcome back to my channel how are you doing on a good i really do hope that you guys are doing good so we're just gonna get straight into today's chit chat chit chat yeah chit chat we are going to talk about covid yes covid this one it hit home yep it hit home home yes so never did i think that i would be going through it only because i thought i was taking the necessary precautions of not going out <laughs> limiting my activities just to be on the safe side i am extremely extremely paranoid when it comes on to this pandemic this entire thing it just has me in a frenzy like what what me so because of that i tend to not go anywhere i turn down invites to go anywhere to events or anything like that because you know i just want to be safe i just want to be safe um i i don't want to have it i i i don't i just want to be safe and in order for me to be safe i just have to stop doing things and stay in my house work grocery store home that's it my routine now don't get me wrong i have ventured out a couple times yes i have i'm guilty yes sometimes you just need a breath of fresh air but you see when me come back in my house i am stressed to the highest level because i am stuffy that night when i get back home i have a headache my chest hurt i can't breathe everything me of it every single time that i go out and i come back in the house in the back of my head i have caught it and it, it's just so stressful so i tend not to go out period because it's stressful it's like why am i even about to do this to myself because I want to go out and I want to, yeah, we have to still live. Yeah, we still have to enjoy life. But that two weeks after I go to our event is the worst. Because everything wrong with me. Every single thing is wrong with me. Anyway, let's backtrack a little. About a week and a half ago, I went to a friend's funeral in Jersey. And while I was there... I thought everything was good limit contact everything like that so we're good i drive back home needless to say it took me five hours from jersey to maryland which is normally three hours got back home and when i when i got home my husband was like i don't feel well my body hurts and i got a headache what do you say immediately i am frantic i am like what so i made him some tea and i gave him some tylenol for the headache took his temperature and everything was okay so you know the next morning i am like you have to go to the doctor you need to go get tested so he went and he got tested the tested that he got tested it came back negative so in negative you're just thinking in the back of your head you're thinking okay maybe it's just you're coming down with flu um we are in the middle of winter dead on in the middle of winter so yeah it's flu season still even though we have this pandemic like that doesn't stop even though you have this pandemic outside you're still in the middle of winter and it's flu season so we're thinking that that's what he has so we'll continue with life, right? So you'll continue with life because your pests come back negative. One thing that kept persisting was this headache. He was like, I have this really bad headache. So I went out and I got some migraine because to me, you no, know, it's migraine because your head, he's like, my head is just pounding, like pounding, pounding, pounding continuously. So I got the migraine medicine and 
you took in and you felt better. So everything's all right, right? Um, Friday night, I walk in the house and he has a mask on. And I'm like, why you have a mask on in the house? He's like, I lost my smell and I can't taste anything. You know what? <laughs> you did what now? You, you can't smell and you can't taste. Like, how long has this been going on? When did this happen? He was like, today, like, I can't smell and I can't taste anything. You have COVID. We need to go on doctor like, no. Needless to say, this was like 10, 11 o'clock at night, right? Like, you, you, you need to, you need to, what? Like, at this moment, you can't think because now he has complete, completely have every single symptom or majority of the symptoms there is that is related to the virus. Your head hurt, you have chills, um, you're congested, lost a smell, lost a taste. You have it. Like, you need for quarantine. Like, you need for stay where they I stay over here. We need for quarantine. Needless to say, we've been staying our distance ever since the very first time that he said that he wasn't feeling good. Because you just, you just never know, right? The next morning, he got up and he went to the doctor. And um, he did another test. So we went to a different, um, he, we went to a different urgent care this time. The test came back positive. He called me on the phone. He was like, mm hmm I'm like, I'm like, mm hmm I'm like, yep, it came back positive. I have it. What you say? <laughs> you do ooh? What? Yeah, I have it. I have COVID. You have COVID? <laughs> what? Like you, I was just so blown away. I came home. Actually, yeah, I came home and I sanitized every single thing in our house that you could think about. I sanitized it because I am like, oh my God, like I thought we were like so cautious of, of this entire thing, but you can only be cautious and you're only responsible for yourself self like whatever whatever it is that someone else is doing you now have no control absolutely no control over that and that's what happened um you know he went to work and i guess someone at work had it and probably wasn't exhibiting any symptoms or whatever it was and he caught it from that person so you know my entire family now have to go get tested and i'm okay with being tested because i've been tested before what i was more so worried about was my four-year-old and them digging up her nose like how is she going to react to that but needless to say she did amazing like she did absolutely amazing and we were there we we're at this urgent care and her test came back positive so now my husband and my daughter is positive. My rapid test, I did a rapid test there also. So my, my daughter did a rapid test. I did a rapid test. And all three of us, me, my son and my daughter, all three of us did a PCR test. My daughter's rapid test came back positive. Mine came back negative, but my son didn't do a rapid test because he wasn't exhibiting any signs. So I'm like, oh my God, she has it. That means I have it because... She's on me and she was on him a lot before he got tested. Like she's, you know, she's very lovable. Like she always wants to be on you. She's four. She's a baby. So anyway, I'm thinking if she has it, I'm happy. It's impossible for me not to have it because she has it. It's impossible. My test came back negative. My PCR test came back negative. My son PCR test came back negative. So now the only two positive we have is my husband and my daughter. 
say no say my husband is quarantining and we are quarantining like we're quarantining in two separate spaces because he's positive and we're negative and he's wearing a mask and you know we're not in the same room at any given time so i mean it's it's been it's been rough it's been really really rough because you know on this hand my husband has exhibit every sign there is of covid on this hand my daughter is not exhibiting any signs at all she she doesn't have chills she doesn't have um a temperature she still has her taste she still have her scent and she's very energetic it's like she got 10 times more energetic since she's had it and she's everywhere so um you know it's it's just it's so different it it's it's a different process you know you as a parent you know everything she sneezes okay this is the symptoms that we've been looking for you know she cough you're like are you okay does your head hurt you know there's so many things that go through your mind as a parent um especially when you hear about all these tragic stories that is out there or even as a wife you know your significant others going through all of these different changes and it's like you can't really be there like you're there you know to help them through the process but you also have to be careful and mindful of yourself because you don't want to contract you know the virus also because if the two was sick who are gonna take care of we you they're kids like they can't take care of us because they're kids so you know you have to also think about that so one of us has to be healthy for the other person it's it's just not you know it's just not it's not an easy road i would say i'm super thankful even though he did test positive and my daughter tests positive i am super thankful that there's no pneumonia there's no chest pains there's no none of that i am super thankful that it didn't go to that extreme like shortness of breath I have to be placed on a ventilator i am thankful 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 for that the doctor is even said that um when he finally got diagnosed that he was um covid positive it was seven days after the fact so his symptoms started that sunday and he got tested positive that following saturday so that's like seven days 67 days in between so he was on the latter part of the virus when he got tested and um besides the headache I think that was the most severe thing for him was this headache um it it was it was a lot for him um the loss of smell and the loss of taste was also bad but um he's since gotten his scent and his taste back and the headache has has gone away which is great i am super super thankful for that and like i said before um we are in day five or day six of quarantine so we're quarantining separately now because my husband was already seven days into his 10 day quarantine and my daughter and myself and my son are now day five into our quarantine so he's out while we're still in so it's like a total different process because now you don't want to reinfect whoever has been infected before so it's a, it's a whole nother cycle that has to start all over again so we are in day five so we have another five days to go before we are fully out of quarantine now that the kids are exhibiting any signs which again i can't stress enough how thankful i am for that guys just be careful out there if you have to go out wear two masks wear three if you can just be careful make sure you sanitize make sure you have your sanitizers in your bag Make sure you have your Lysol if you can find it. Make sure you have some spray down yourself. Like if you have to go out with someone, just put like a sanitizer in it and rub it up. Air dry it. Keep it moving. Make sure you wear your mask. Like even 
if you're in a car with someone just just put your mask on it's for your own safety and it's for also for the safety of your loved ones that are around you like it we're not in this by ourselves we're in this together and i think that's what we all need to realize like don't be selfish and think because you test positive and you don't have any symptoms like you're not going to spread it because you you can develop symptoms anywhere within that 14 day period and i think that's why i used to be so paranoid when i went out to events and come back and i'm like oh god i'm stressed for 14 days because you know have it catch it like you know until after that 14 days have passed then i'll not stress as much but that first 14 days even now being quarantined and not having those symptoms like if i get stuffy or congested or i'm gonna think i have it so i go back to get tested i think i'm gonna go after my 10 day quarantine is up i'm gonna get tested again just to make sure that everything is okay um and i'm out of the woods i'm gonna do another rapid and another pcr just to be on the safe side you know the kids are home because school is closed they're doing virtual learning um but we still mix and mingle a little bit with people because of work related um things so i know i rambled a lot but in the end what i'm saying is everybody's symptoms is different so my husband had all of these symptoms my daughter had no symptoms I could have some of the symptoms. I could have no symptoms. You know, I can develop new symptoms. I could have more advanced symptoms. Like, you just don't know how somebody body or how somebody, yeah, how somebody body is going to react to the virus itself. So just be careful. Be mindful. Um, and we have to also be thankful that we're here. You know, a lot of people didn't make it this morning. A lot of people didn't make it last year. A lot of people just didn't make it, period, throughout this pandemic. So, let's just be mindful and thoughtful of each other. And, um, as always, guys, thank you for stopping by. Tell a friend for tell a friend. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.